This Lamb County Leader News Friday Night Football Spotlight is sponsored by Valley Ag Electric. Your pivot is at the center of everything we do. We work on any pivot brand and we are available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We proudly support the Olton Mustangs. This Lamb County Leader News Friday Night Football Spotlight is sponsored by Wellington State Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Wellington State Bank is your partner in progress. We are proud to support Mustang and Philly Athletics. Good luck on Friday and go get them, Mustangs. Derek Lopez here from the Lamb County Leader News with Olton Senior Wide Receiver Israel Santian. Israel, how you doing? Pretty good, and you? Doing good. Man, you guys had a tough loss on Friday at Hell Center. Just kind of give me your thoughts on that one and uh, what you guys can take away uh, heading into the Smart game this week. Uh, it was difficult from the start to the end. You know, we fought hard, but uh, I guess you can say they fought harder than us. Um, it was a difficult game. We struggled, but I feel like it was just – it started from the Monday practice. You know, it wasn't so good. And just throughout the week, it wasn't so perfect as what we wanted it to be. Okay, and uh, you know, offensively, you guys kind of you guys had some uh, some big plays um, um, sporadically throughout the contest. Kind of, what do you feel you guys will have to do uh, this week in practice and heading into the the smile game this week to improve on that? I feel like we'll need to focus a lot on our running. Uh, we kind of struggle last week. You know, a lot of our linemen kind of some of them were worried so much about other person's jobs that they forgot about theirs and. I feel like if we just focus on our own job and do what we got to do, uh, our running game will be strong like the beginning in their first games. Okay. And then just lastly, uh, you know, you guys got homecoming this week. Just kind of how do you guys stay focused on the task at hand and uh, not get uh, wrapped up in the in the homecoming festivities going on? Uh, we tried mainly started focusing since Saturday. Uh, we have film. We knew uh, that homecoming is, uh, is an important, important thing that we all need to stay focused on. And... Uh, nothing that goes in school should have should, should affect the way you perform on the football field, and we just tell our teammates to put that aside and worry about what they got to do Friday night to take care of and go home with a dub. All right, right on, buddy. Appreciate your time. Yes, sir. This Lamb County Leader News Friday Night Football Spotlight is sponsored by South Plains Irrigation. Come see us for all of your sprinkler irrigation needs. We now also provide drip irrigation. Go get them, Mustangs. Derek Lopez here from the Lamb County Leader News with Olton Senior Safety, Jack Alcorn. Jack, how you doing? Good, how are you? Doing good. Man, you guys had a tough uh, tough game against Hell Center on the road on Friday. It was their homecoming. Uh, kind of give me your thoughts on the way the, way the defense performed in that one. Um, I think the defense performed pretty good. Uh, our secondary was really good. I was really proud of them. We all kind of stepped up and... They threw the ball quite a bit in most of the films we watched, but then when we got into the game, they started running it pretty hard, and we had to come up and make some plays, which is kind of hard to do when you're on the sides and then deep in the field, but I think we performed pretty good, about as well as we expect. Okay, and then uh, just heading into the Spire game this week for homecoming, um, they come to town. Um, 
just kind of what do you feel you guys will have to do on both sides of the ball in order to, to get a victory on Friday? Uh, on the offensive side, we're going to have to, I mean, we got to throw the ball somehow. And one of our uh, quarterbacks got hurt, so we don't really know what we're going to do there. But our run game should be good. We're going to have to run the ball really good, find the holes and hit them hard on defense. I mean, they're going to watch the Hell Center film and see that they ran the ball really hard against us, so they're probably going to run the ball even though they pass it quite a bit. But, I mean, we're just going to have to make plays on both sides of the ball. That's really what it comes down to. Right on, buddy. I appreciate your time. Hi, this is Kevin Campbell from John Rhodes Auto Center in Littlefield. I want to wish our Lamb County football teams the best of luck this season. And if you're in the market, come out and check out our great selection of Chevrolet products. Derek Lopez here from the Lamb County Leader News and our Friday Night Football Spotlight this week brings us out to Alton, Texas with the Mustangs. I'm here with head coach Ross Lasseter. Coach, how you doing? Good. good. Uh, coach, you guys had the tough loss on, uh, on Friday on the road against Hale Center. Just kind of give me your takeaways from that game and uh, some things you can build on heading into the, the Smire game this week. We, you know, going into the Hale Center game, we knew it was going to be a tough game. We felt like we were kind of an evenly matched team, and that's kind of how it played out. Uh, we actually had a 14-12 lead going. I think there was 11 minutes left in the game. We had a 14-12 lead, and boy, the turnover bug uh, reared its ugly head and, and kind of bit us a little bit. Uh, uh, I believe we had four turnovers in the game. I think three of them happened in the last 10 minutes or so. Uh, so, uh, you know, lessons learned from that game is you got to take care of the ball. And uh, our kids played hard. They played tough. Uh, Hell Center is a heck of a ball team, you know. Uh, they're really talented, good quarterback, good receivers, uh, good offensive line. And so it was a good matchup for us, and we came out on the short side of that thing. Okay. And, uh, you know, this week, um, homecoming happening, um, Smart Bobcats come to town. Um, just kind of what do you feel you guys will have to do offensively um, to, to be victorious on, on Friday? Smyre's got a really good team. They kind of got a one-two punch in their backfield. Really good quarterback. He can throw the ball. He can run the ball. Uh, he's both those guys have scored from, you know, a long ways out in their first games this year. Uh, so defensively, we're going to have to do a good job of stopping their run, uh, protecting against the pass when it's passing downs. Uh, defensively, they they fly to the football. They, you know, they, they line up in a lot of different looks up front. So it's going to be important for our offensive line to – to make their calls, make their checks, and block those guys. So it's going to be a good game on Friday night. Right on, Coach. Well, I appreciate your time again. The the Mustangs will be at home on Friday night for homecoming and take on the Smart Bobcats at 7 p.m. at Mustang Stadium.